Here's another story all new for you. At 11, we talked a lot about Berry Farm, a Southeast DC development slated to be torn down and redevelopment. But that community dates back to 1867. It began as homes for formerly enslaved people built after the Civil War. Tonight, we'll focus on its most recent chapter, people forced from their homes as developers moved in. Here are their stories from a visual storyteller, journalist, and community advocate shared with our Delia Gonsalves. They're telling the story of how a people, a, a, a black people who have lived here for nearly eight decades are now being displaced because of the changing demographics of the city. In other words, because of gentrification. And they well know that they won't be coming back even though the, city's, the city is promising them that they will be able to. And it's really tragic, especially if you're a senior. Miss Mary L. Davis, she moved in in the 70s and she talked about how the, the grass was so green and pretty and how it looked like carpet. All the elders that I've spoken to and I've talked to about half a dozen, they were on the verge of tears, primarily because of the uncertainty of moving someplace else. They know what to expect from Berry Farms, even though the city has allowed it to deteriorate. The idea of it, that someone uh, put that Christmas stocking on the fence and what that, it says so much about the predicament of the people. And now the city is given permission to developers to destroy the trees at Berry Farm. And many of them are what the city calls heritage sized trees. And those trees are supposed to be protected. Not only are people being displaced, nature is being destroyed. And that says something about the harmful impact that gentrification has uh, on a city.